Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Access. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty fun topic, honestly. Um, Etho, obviously a fan favorite creator, really, across the board. I, I don't even think it's exclusive to the Hermit audience. I think people just love Etho. I like Etho I as much as I will have to admit. I am not like a, a very diehard Etho viewer. I understand there's a lot of very passionate viewers out there. I really respect the guy. I used to watch his Pixelmon content very regularly, so... There's my little uh, tidbit on that. Either way, something to talk about today is the Etho training arc, okay? The Reddit's been freaking out, not recently. Well, it kind of, it's been like uh, about three weeks of freaking out. Um, I think it started from this team, which is why I started with this. Uh, Etho's been on MCC Island a bunch. Um, I'll show proof of that in a little bit. But this post was made 10 hours ago. Just what the with like 200 upvotes of Etho being second in the, I think this is Parkour Warrior, uh, is this just Dojo or is this the other one? I don't actually know which one this is. It's either, it's one of the Parkour Warriors, right? Etho's number two. What? <laughs> like, I mean, like, uh, obviously he's just a guy who probably really likes playing on this server, but like, Etho's number two. Like, what do we, what, what, what do you mean? What do you mean Etho's number two? Here's another one. This one is a little bit less, like, insane. This is just, like, holy moly. Like, clearly Etho is making, actually on his training arc, making an improvement. But here you go. Uh, this is, like, one of the first ones uh, of people noticing that Etho is playing uh, clearly on the server. I've seen him uh, in the lobbies uh, a bunch for those who watch the, the Wolfie Macaroni. streams. Thank you whoever followed me. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who watch the Wolfie streams, uh, you'll you'll know that we've we've passed Etho. You know, we, we, we've seen him every now and then. I, I even competed with him in, in, a, in a Parkour Warrior Survivor. And, you know, we had a little friendly little punch. You know, it, it's, it, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, <laughs> anyways... Um, yeah, people have, there's like a clip from, I think, Carter here, um, which I, I'm not playing the audio because it's super loud, but, um, if you look on the left here, uh, in a bit, you'll see Etho on top of the parkour, whether it's on purpose or accidental, just absolutely skipping through the map, <laughs> like, freaking legend, man, like, oh my god, uh, hilarious. Either way, um, to showcase, hold on, um, this, oh. I've been disconnected from MCCI. Well, logging back in, there you go. Oh, Block Wars. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you know, I love recording a Bogle Bell and it just completely, like, doesn't do what it's supposed to do. But if we go to the social um, and I look at Etho over here, you will notice he's level 15. <laughs> he's, uh, this is proof. He's been playing like crazy. He, he's also loyal to his faction because... His faction loyalty is level 78. I mean, his debut team color was Cyan. Maybe he, he you know, prefers Cyan. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, but he clearly has never swapped off of it. So he's been uh, he's been on the grind, really. He's been on the on the freaking grind here. Um, so I respect it. I respect it honestly. Now, if we go back to the the Mogul Mail part of the Mogul Mail, um, it wouldn't be a Wolfie Mogul Mail talking about a specific person without teams. Here you go. I, I just made teams because I think one big question that's on everyone's mind is why is Etho playing? Number one, probably most likely answer is he just wants to. Or he's, you know, training for an MCC. So hypothetically, if he was going to be in another MCC, which I think is possible, then here's some teams. These are not going to be balanced all the way across whatever, right? You understand how it goes here. We just build teams based on vibes and then... Uh, yeah, yeah, we continue. Um, Ethos up top here. He will be the, the per extra person on every team. I just obviously can't duplicate Etho a bunch of times on the main MCC tier list. First off, I think something most people want to see is a Joel and Etho team. And I know what, something that's very common that people want is a Shane, Joel, and Etho team. Now, obviously, Shane and Joel just proved that they are a very strong duo. And I don't know if etho is a balanced third frag at this point because he's been practicing we don't actually know how much better he's gotten but he he might actually be a pretty strong third frag for a duo like that if we continue to have balancing like kickoff which i think is likely i hope at least that the balancing of mcc uh, season 4 ko is somewhat kept because i think it's very entertaining and it allows for 
um, people who typically place around the middle or lower to have a bit more pop-off potential and showcase their skills and probably just have a bit more of a fun time, honestly, in my, in my opinion. They might have a good time without Scar, and that's incredible. So, um, either way, yeah, Shane, Joel, Etho, Trio is uh, pretty highly requested. You could maybe add, like, Tango as, like, a, a, a fourth to maybe make that balanced. So you could just swap JoJo and Shane here, maybe. Uh, just for the sake of variety, I wanted to swipe shit up. I did a, a, a JoJo, Joel, Tango, and Etho combo. Um, I think JoJo's, like, slightly lower uh, than Shane in terms of balancing. Obviously, because Shane, I think, is the highest score player, so she kind of has to be. Um... Either way, JoJo, I think, talked with Tango uh, about potentially wanting to run an MCC together at some point. Uh, I don't know if there's anything uh, about that that's confirmed that it's going to happen, but uh, I think this would be a fun combination. Obviously, Etho and Tango are hermits, and I mean, Joel too, uh, they're hermits, and Etho and Tango already teamed, so that should be comfortable for them. And JoJo has talked with, I think, all three of these people before, during practice, so red team would be solid. Yellow team, I think another thing that's highly, highly requested is an, e well, actually two things here at the same time, is an Etho and Green combo and an Etho and H-Bomb combo. Now you get the best of both worlds, they're on the same team. So that's a trio, and that is like a decent combo. I think Green is one of the stronger Hermits in MCC typically. I think Ollie Orion Sound makes for a very fun second frag there. He did have like a pretty big pop-off last event combined or teamed with um feinberg however h has not been the strongest top frag so this would probably be a team that you would see in a bit of a lower comp season would be cool though i think yellow team would be very fun and and very funny as well i mean ollie ryan sounds in the mix so you're you're gonna have some chaos at least i think an, an ollie and green combo would be very entertaining um and i i'd love to see the the, the calm etho contrast and then h-bomb in between <laughs> pretty fun another highly requested team for a very very long time is the cyan canadians now i put it on green because it's a fruit berries team um this is the green team fruit small ant gemini tay and etho obviously gem and etho know each other the potential problem here depending on what etho is comfortable with is that I don't think Etho is familiar with Fruit or Small Ant, um, but I think vibes-wise, this team would work very nicely. Um, it would be a very unique team in terms of um, how Scott typically makes teams, because I don't think any of these people have teamed together. Fruit and Smant is a very cohesive duo. Uh, Gem and Etho is a very cohesive duo, but the cohesion between those duos is a little bit less consistent, mainly because of Etho. Um, so I would love to see it. I think it'd be really entertaining, really cool, really fun team. It is similar to yellow in terms of skill. I'd say honestly, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, I'd say Ollie is a definitely a more confident uh, uh, second frag compared to either gem or Smant. This could swap either way. I don't know really who is better between the two. Um, and then I think either Smant or gem is a more confident third frag than Gurian. Etho obviously would be the same on every team, and Fruit is a bit better than H. So I think Green would probably lean in a little bit more of the stronger route, but either way, cool team. Another thing that might not be as requested, but I think something that people still want to see is uh, a run back of, of Shane and Etho on the same team. Um, and I think the blue team I made here would be a very nice, comfortable team to work with. Obviously, Impulse has teamed with Shane and uh, you know, that worked really well. I think a Shane and Impulse uh, combo needs to happen again at some point too, because I think uh, both of those people uh, are, are a very fun combo and they just only have teamed one time. Um, Etho obviously makes a lot of sense to be the fourth. And then I think, or the third, I guess, of the trio. I think Martin makes for a very nice fourth there uh, for balancing. And also just vibes wise, I think Martin and Etho would make for a good combo. So that'd be very nice. And then finally is definitely the more copium team here, but it is probably the second most cohesive third. I don't know. It's more cohesive than either green or blue, probably. Um, but uh, the potential of adding technically two newcomers, if you count Misty as a newcomer, it would be two um, to the to the mix. You could have a uh, uh, block at league, I think it's called, team of Mysticat, Captain Sparkles, Etho, and Sethbling, which I think would be fire. That would be 
hype as heck okay it would be great so if it's possible run it i think it is possible i mean misty would love to play another mcc jordan plays in most mccs that he's able to play in um etho clearly likes mcc because he's been playing mccii a bunch seth bling probably would be fine to play it too i mean he would be with like some of his better friends at this point um actually three probably of his best friends um are all on the same team so i think seth would be down too and i think it would make for a very cool team anyways that's enough yapping um etho training arc let me know your thoughts on on that i think it's very cool obviously to see a, a very um you know influential figure of the minecraft community be an active player on what i would consider a niche server mccii obviously is based on mcc uh, i think it's very cool to see etho be active but also reminder just a guy he's a cool guy but just a guy so make sure to act normal because i was in a lobby before where etho would just get a finish time that's standard you just like you know he'd, he'd do like an advanced completion in like four minutes and the chat is just like that's so good, Etho. You did a fantastic job. That's like the best I've ever seen. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> calm down, okay? <laughs> calm down. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And Etho and MCC. Hopefully, third time's the charm. Maybe he'll get a win or dodgeable. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Goodbye.